like to ask the Minister for Enterprise how much was paid by Manx National Heritage to the Government in respect of the transfer of ownership of A. Castle Russian, B. Peel Castle, C. The Laxey Wheel and D. The Old House of Keys. Well, the Minister for Enterprise to reply. Right, excellent. The four properties listed were transferred to the Manx Museum and National Trust, which is now trading as Manx National Heritage, for a nominal sum of 25 pence. It should be noted that our department role as sponsor for Manx Museum and National Trust is to represent the trust that council administers and to support legislative changes. The department also appoints a political member, my honourable colleague Mr Callister, as one of the 11 trustees though it has no, budget, has no budget setting or policy role in decisions by the Trust. A memorandum of understanding between the Department and MNH is under discussion to formalise this role. Good morning. Supplementary. Mr. House. Thank you, Mr President, and thank you, Minister. I recognise that times have changed, um, and my 25 pence wouldn't perhaps get to the old police station in Kazatam, but does the Minister agree that this type of transfer makes perfect sense when trying to keep buildings of national importance within the hands of government bodies so that future generations will have access to these buildings and will be maintained properly. Mr. Scully. <coughs> uh, it's not just the, uh, the ownership, I would uh, remind the Honourable Member, but there are also uh, registration process planning issues that uh, do need to be uh, taken and considered. And of course, I think we would all value the national importance of these historic buildings, not just in public ownership, but in private ownership. And I know my colleague, uh, Minister for uh, DEFRA, is also pursuing registration of a number of uh, very valuable properties because uh, we do need to consider our heritage, our uh, built up heritage. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Would the Minister agree that Castle Russian, Peel Castle, the Lexi Wheel, and the Old House of Keys weren't really going concerns when they were handed over? <laughs> <laughs> Whereas what we're talking about at the moment are currently used buildings with ongoing potential for economic investment and economic activity in terms of both the um, the police station in Castletown, but also the courthouse in Ramsey. And there's a big difference between bringing back to life historic relics and actually encouraging economic growth in living buildings. Reply, sir. Indeed. Thank you very much. I um, thank the, uh, the Honourable Member for Ramsey for his, uh, for his question. Uh, yes, uh, I think it's a very valid point. I think the Honourable uh, Member, uh, Minister Morehouse, actually highlighted the fact these were different times, no doubt about it. But I think it's a great example to see what's actually happened in Ramsey with Milltown under private ownership and uh, how that uh, has been preserved uh, for the good of Ramsey and the nation of the Isle of Man. So I think there's a, there is excellent examples both in public and private partnership. And again, it's not just about the ownership issue. Uh, there is uh, planning mechanisms and registrations that we do and should consider uh, uh, in this course.